only 3 to 4% of Egypt's territory is arable. The rest, lifeless desert. When we think of ancient Egypt, we picture majestic pyramids, golden treasures, and the endless flow of the Nile. However, beneath this iconic image lies an astonishing secret that could rewrite our understanding of ancient civilization. For decades, historians dismissed certain peculiar marks found in Egypt's desert as insignificant. But modern technology has forced us to reconsider, revealing something extraordinary. Ancient Egypt may have intentionally released billions of tons of water into the desert. Everyone knows the pyramids of Egypt, towering symbols of ancient engineering. But what if we told you that their water projects were even more impressive? The result is a mystery buried beneath the sands, a discovery that could redefine everything we thought we knew about one of the world's most advanced ancient civilizations. The Sahara Desert is the world's largest and hottest desert, a harsh and lifeless place where no one would expect to find signs of human activity. For centuries, scholars believed the desert was a barren wasteland, untouched and ignored by the ancient Egyptians, who relied solely on the fertile Nile Valley. But recent satellite imagery and archaeological excavations have uncovered evidence that contradicts this belief. Geological surveys and ancient traces in the desert suggest that the Egyptians might have redirected massive amounts of water from the Nile into the Sahara. This unprecedented feat of engineering may have transformed vast stretches of desert into fertile farmland, challenging our ideas of what the Egyptians were capable of. The Nile River was the foundation of Egypt's power. Every year, the river would flood, replenishing the soil and enabling the Egyptians to grow abundant crops. The river's floods were so reliable that the Egyptians divided their year into three seasons, flooding, planting, and harvesting. This predictable rhythm helped them create one of the most stable and enduring civilizations in history. But the Egyptians didn't rely solely on the Nile's natural floods. They built advanced irrigation systems, canals, reservoirs, and dikes that helped expand their reach beyond the Nile's banks. In the Fayum region, the Egyptians even linked the Nile to Lake Miris, creating a massive reservoir to irrigate thousands of acres. These systems allowed the Egyptians to harness water with incredible precision, turning dry lands into productive farmland. They didn't just rely on the Nile's gift, they actively shaped and expanded its reach. Egypt's geography has always posed a challenge. The Nile Valley is narrow, and as Egypt's population grew, the available farmland couldn't keep up. This is a challenge Egypt still faces today as more than 100 million people live on just a small fraction of the country's land. Today, urban sprawl, rising seas, and soil salinization threaten to shrink the fertile land even further. Thousands of years ago, the Egyptians faced a similar crisis. As their population grew, they needed more food, more space, and more resources. This led to ambitious projects, like digging deeper canals and building new reservoirs. In some cases, they didn't just work within the Nile's natural bounds, they turned to the desert itself, attempting to transform it into farmland. Recent discoveries in the Sahara Desert have revealed ancient signs of human engineering. Satellite images and ground-penetrating radar have uncovered patterns in the sand, long straight lines, circular depressions, and networks of what appear to be irrigation channels. These formations suggest that the Egyptians may have diverted massive amounts of water into the desert, turning dry land into green corridors capable of supporting crops. Sediment samples from these sites show evidence of water flow, with silt deposits and traces of freshwater organisms. These findings suggest the desert was not always as arid as today. It once had rivers, canals, and reservoirs, all part of an extraordinary attempt to transform the land. Everyone knows the pyramids of Egypt, towering symbols of ancient engineering. But what if we told you that their water projects were even more impressive? The scale of this water project is hard to fathom. Geological evidence suggests the Egyptians may have released very large volumes of water into desert channels. Sediment fans and cut banks indicate rapid releases. If anthropogenic, they imply engineered control. The Egyptians built sophisticated systems to direct the Nile's waters, channeling them into the heart of the Sahara. Using simple tools but advanced knowledge of hydrology, the Egyptians crafted channels and dams to carry vast amounts of water. They didn't flood the desert recklessly. 
they carefully managed the water to ensure it reached the intended areas. The result was the temporary creation of fertile land, where none had existed before. This was no accident. This was an intentional, highly coordinated effort to reshape the desert. The Egyptians were known for their stone monuments, pyramids, temples, and statues, but it's their mastery of water that may have been their greatest technological achievement. Their understanding of materials and natural forces was extraordinary. For example, they understood how water could stabilize sand, making it easier to transport heavy objects like statues. This knowledge wasn't just applied to building monuments, it extended to their hydraulic projects. The Egyptians' ability to manipulate water and sand allowed them to construct irrigation systems on an unprecedented scale. They didn't just tame the Nile, they took on the desert itself, proving that even the harshest landscapes could be reshaped with knowledge and innovation. The Egyptians didn't just build with stone, they built with water. They recognized the Nile's power and harnessed it to expand their civilization, but they didn't stop there. They attempted to control the desert as well, transforming barren land into farmland. This ambitious experiment didn't last long. Many of the canals and reservoirs were eventually abandoned. The desert reclaimed the land, and the project faded into myth. However, the evidence of this grand experiment still exists, buried beneath the sands. Modern archaeology and technology have revealed traces of the ancient Egyptians' environmental feats. Their attempt to master the desert was a remarkably ambitious engineering effort for its time. Why did the Egyptians abandon such an ambitious project? The reasons are unclear, but there are several theories. Some suggest climate change or political instability may have played a role. Others argue that the Egyptians simply overextended themselves, and the maintenance of such large-scale projects became unsustainable. Whatever the reason, the project ended, and the desert slowly swallowed the evidence. Yet the traces remain in the desert, and modern technology is helping us uncover them. These ancient projects challenge our assumptions about ancient Egypt, revealing a civilization that was not just a passive beneficiary of nature's gifts, but an active force that reshaped its environment. The modern revelation of Egypt's ancient water projects has prompted renewed debate among scholars. For generations, historians believed Egypt's prosperity depended solely on the Nile. But new evidence suggests that the Egyptians weren't content with the river's natural floods. They actively engineered water systems that stretched beyond the Nile's natural limits. Inscriptions and wall paintings that once seemed ceremonial now appear to depict real water management systems. The ancient Egyptians were not just builders of pyramids, they were also engineers who sought to transform their environment to meet their needs. They weren't just surviving, they were thriving by actively reshaping their environment. Today, Egypt faces many of the same challenges its ancient ancestors did. Population growth, shrinking farmland, and a need for more resources. Modern projects, like the New Delta Project, which aims to create new farmland in the desert, echo the ancient attempts to reshape the land. The parallels are striking. Ancient Egypt's bold experiment in desert reclamation is a reminder that even the harshest landscapes can be transformed with knowledge, vision, and resilience. As Egypt once again attempts to tame the desert, it is not just repeating history, it is building upon it. Ancient Egypt's bold attempt to master water in the desert reminds us that even the harshest landscapes can be transformed, but only with balance, foresight, and resilience. The legacy of Egypt's ancient water projects continues to resonate. The desert is no longer just a symbol of death and desolation. It is a reminder of humanity's ability to reshape the world, and the lessons of ambition, innovation, and environmental balance. If the ancients dared to challenge the desert with billions of tons of water, could modern Egypt finally succeed where they once failed? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video with us, and catch you in the next one.